Hello my delicious co-creators, Lilou here. I'm in New York City. I'm about to fly to France, back to Europe, back home where I live and uh, I want to share with you the space I'm in right now because uh, I feel truly blessed uh, and I know a lot of you feel this way and uh, know how important it is that we express now ourselves authentically, vulnerably, as it is and that we share each other's experience. Whether it's good or bad, something happens when we do that, when we open our hearts, when we allow the blessing to flow in, not only in our lives, but the lives of others. And this is why I do these video blogs, this is why I share with you, and um, I feel that beyond the words right now, there's something coming through. Uh, I shared a little bit of my experience here when I was uh, downtown, downtown New York the other day, um, but what's really... Uh, present for me is our beauty, our beauty, our light, and that it is time to now take the next level. It is time for us to confidently, powerfully, beautifully, creatively move forward in our lives and do what we're supposed to do and what we want to do and have fun at it and live our life purpose. Uh, it's been a very interesting weekend, like my friend Greg would say. It's been interesting, Lilo. <laughs> and actually, Greg was there at the meetup I just did yesterday in uh, in in the city. But um, it's been interesting. Why? Because it's been challenging. Uh, some people have come forward. Some friends. Some co-creators. Uh, from all areas have come all of a sudden together and told me um, what they thought, you know, of, of the interviews, of the videos, or where I was at, or, or um, how they felt, where my energy was personally and all that. And I thought it was really, really insightful. And I felt ready to hear those. I have a tendency to as I'm sensitive to protect myself and not really want to hear sometimes. Um, when people have some insights or criticism or um, just just some, some things that are really actually that, that I could be ready to hear but I'm not. <laughs> and But this weekend I was. And I knew there was something going on with taking this flight over to New York City. It, it was totally out of the box. It was crazy. Even though if I take flights, this is the first time I take the, f the flight for the next day. Uh, I knew it would be a blessed weekend from the moment, actually, just when I took the flight. Uh, well, I booked the ticket. Uh, immediately after that, things starting to open up. And as it, it usually does, you know, when we make the first step, then things open up. Um, and then in the plane, I thought, wow, there's incredible energy in this plane. There's, there's something there. And I speak to the steward, and he tells me that he, he's been watching the, my videos, and um, which was really surprising. And he says, I would like to, to support you, donating a, a, a ticket, all of that. So basically, the big chunk that I was spending in the ticket was immediately kind of rebalanced, put in harmony and the universe was basically saying there's not you don't have to worry here we're, we're, we're taking care of you and you have you have an extra ticket for another flight another time so don't worry about the money this is not about the money and we know it's not about the money and most of the time we limit ourselves with those money conversations um, and I, and, I, and I do that, like I do limit myself saying, oh my God, but if I want to take the show to the next level, I need money or sponsors or investors or what have you, but more money. And, and I've been reminded many times this weekend that it is not about that. And it's about, um, as my, my friend Julia that I'm staying at would say, uh, it's about being even more vulnerable, even more authentic, even more raw, even more ourselves and just... Just, just living it fully and not holding back. And as Mark Nepo would say, that I've interviewed uh, yesterday, it is about letting our soul breathe, and breathe and shine and, and emanate and speak out what we have inside of ourselves. And boy, is that scary, isn't it? It's frightening because 
we don't know how this is going to look like and what's the impact of it. But what I know for sure right now is that I love the energy I'm in. I love the, the expansion. I love the feedback that I received this weekend. I know for sure that I stepped into this next level, that I, I'm getting it and it feels good. It feels like it's going through my whole being. There's an integration. There is a letting go of the resistance and accepting and just keep on opening. I would love to stay in that space and as we know sometimes it's challenging because we're afraid you know, it's going to go away and it feels so good. Um, there is something, there is actually, I think, um, no turning back. You know, there's some steps where it's just, there is just a new space you've entered and I think we're all there right now. And it's really for us to speak out our truth and to be who we are and from love uh, communicate and ask um, our in our relationship uh, whether it's friendship or at work or um, a love relationship a romantic relationship what we truly want and that we 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 deeply honor and respect ourselves and we follow our heart, we follow our intuition and that wise voice inside of us. We let our soul breathe and, and be. And I think in any relationship we have to fully honor uh, ourselves. And most of all, uh, uh, be in relationship with some people that truly get us uh, allow us to be ourselves around them without any restriction without any complaints or wanting to change the other person because that's love that's true love love is like that and I'm committed to live in that space now and to give myself that gift and I I and I want to tell you that to you please allow yourself to be in that space and to live in that expansive way because it is time now this is the time it's now and it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful courageous spacious creative loving space there's nothing to fear we are fully supported and when we have doubts it's important to recenter ourselves in our heart and listen to it and meditate and walk and, and have a good conversation with some friends and follow our intuition and maybe go on a meditative retreat. I'm actually thinking of taking a, a retreat in November for a few weeks if I need to go in silence, maybe in Asia, maybe around the corner from home, I don't know. But what I would like is to take some time for myself to integrate all that because our journey is so rich and we're so blessed to be in this conversation right now. Not everybody is. And um, our soul work is really starting now. So I want to share with you th this moment. And um, I know that wherever you are, there are things happening for you right now. And trust, move forward and let go of what is no longer necessary. I send you much, much love from beautiful New York City. <laughs>